Hi guys, oh, I'm sorry, I know it's been ages, but let's get straight into it. Let's open the advent calendar this year from Sparkle Supplies. Oh, I love a nail art advent calendar. Ooh. <laughs> so what have we got in day one? You might be able to uh, spot my Grinch nails. At the start of the video, of the nail video, <laughs> I just like, I show them a little bit more. So we've got some like smiley faces and star sequins in that one. Um, day two, because obviously I'm a bit delayed with this, and I? I was supposed to do it. Bang on, 1st of December. Try and get a video out every day, but... <laughs> So that's not really my style, that one, but, like, customers may like that one. <laughs> Day three, what have we got? I can never open these damn little envelopes. <sighs> so we've got Delight here. Looks like purple holographic fine glitter. I like that. can definitely use that. What have we got for day four? Get in envelope. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Don't use your nails as tools. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> so those are pink metallic butterflies. Quite cute, them. And what have we got for day five? Da, 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 da. Ooh, so we've got smoky pink little sequin gem things, gemstones. So it looks like the bigger ones are black and the smaller ones are pink. So they're quite cute. Anyway, so I just show you my Grinchy nails that you've just seen. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So we have a 3D candy cane on there, which I am going to show in later videos on how to do. But today is going to be those really cute sweater nails that you see all over Instagram at the minute. And in general in winter, you just always see these 3D textured jumper sweater nails. So start with whatever base colour you want. And we're going to matte top coat it. Yeah, it's, I'm sorry it's been ages. It's been like two weeks, hasn't it? Oh, I am planning to do more, I promise. So there we have it, matte top coat. And we're going to go in with our detailer brush with the same colour again. So we're going to draw in our pattern. Now, you can stop like through whatever design element you get to like if you just want to do the one line and then do the acrylic then that's fine if you don't feel confident doing more of the design I wanted to do both of the lines just going down before we went in with the acrylic powder so we haven't cured this and then what we're just going to do is we're going to pour acrylic all over it until the gel has fully soaked it up and then we will cure it in the lamp so really you want to be pouring acrylic on until it doesn't look shiny anymore if you know what i mean it, i think i need some new acrylic to be honest because this took a lot longer than it ever did last year but yeah we we'll pop that in the lamp and then we brush off the excess and look you can see the 3D texture there but like I say you can do the whole design before you cover it in acrylic if you want I decided to do it in little bits so what we're doing here is the typical design that you see everywhere so it's like little lightning bolts to sort of represent the like stitching it's really cute really effective really easy super easy and then at the sides i'm just you could do the same down the sides but i just wanted it to be a bit different and really easy really really quick 
So we're just going to do little horizontal lines, well, diagonal lines really, and then we're going to cover it in the acrylic. See how, how easy is that? Because literally, once you've cured that, you're finished. That is how quick it is. How easy peasy. So just until the gel has soaked it all up, pop it in the lamp and wipe off the excess. Now I'm just going to wipe it with a lint-free wipe that's not lint-free because they're never bloody lint-free. Just so you can see it a little bit more clearly just as it dries again. See, look how textured that is 3d design look at all the fluff bloody fluff <laughs> but there we have it so this next one we're going to use um a pink shade sienna i think it was from dali artistic as our base coat for this one um i guess i thought i'd do a blue one and a pink one just because it's a cute sweater color i think so, once again, oh, sorry, I'm yawning. <laughs> we're matte top coating this. And then with the same colour, we're just... So, I'm doing a pattern on half the nail. Probably a little bit more than half. But this is sort of a chunkier sort of knit. <laughs> chunkier cable knit jumper. I don't know. <laughs> So you can tell what I mean, like, looks like it's bigger stitches, basically. So it's important if you want the colour to stay, the colour you've used, to use clear acrylic, not white. Because um, if you use white, then it will be white acrylic. But this, what I'm using, is clear. So it just dries the same colour as whatever gel you have used. So we're just going to sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> Let it soak up all of the gel polish, the acrylic. <laughs> I love this uh, little cuticle pusher. It's such a handy tool. Dust it away and look how textured that is. You can really tell that that's 3D. And then we're just going to do some little ones down by the side and do exactly the same. I'm actually waiting for... <laughs> oh, when I was really tired and couldn't sleep one morning, I uh, ordered the Madame Glam advent calendar. A uh, little bit expensive, shouldn't have bought it. However... Super excited for it to arrive. Don't know if anybody else has got it, but although I did get an email today saying it's bloody gone down in price again. <sighs> never mind, never mind. <laughs> so look, we've soaked up the gel, popped it in the lamp, and we're going to brush that off just nicely. And there we have again a cute little textured sweater design. And I'm going to finish this top bit off with some white dots. Because <laughs> why not? Look how cute. It just finishes everything off. So cute. Yeah. So here we have the finished sweater nails. I hope you enjoyed. Um, next up will be some snowflake nails. So stay tuned if you want to see some super easy ways to draw snowflakes on a nail thanks so much for watching please give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already bye